Question 1. What is Hadoop MapReduce? Answer. MapReduce is a set of programs used to process or analyze vast of data over a Hadoop cluster. It processes the vast amount of the data sets parallelly across the clusters in a fault-tolerant manner across the Hadoop framework. Question 2. Can you elaborate about MapReduce job? Answer. Based on the configuration, the MapReduce job first splits the input data into independent chunks called blocks. These blocks processed by map and reduce functions. First map function process the data, then processed by reduce function. The framework takes care of sorts the map outputs, scheduling the tasks. Question 3. Why compute nodes and the storage nodes are the same? Answer. Compute nodes for processing the data. Storage nodes for storing the data. By default Hadoop framework tries to minimize the network wastage. To achieve that goal framework follows the data locality concept. The compute code execute where the data is stored. So the data node and compute node are the same. Question 4. What is the configuration object importance in MapReduce? Answer. It's used to set slash get of parameter name and value pairs in XML file. It's used to initialize values. Read from external file and set as a value parameter. Parameters values in the program always overwrite with new values which are coming from external configure files. Parameter values received from Hadoop's default values. Question 5. Where MapReduce not recommended? Answer. MapReduce is not recommended for iterative kind of processing. It means repeat the output in a loop manner. To process series of MapReduce jobs, MapReduce not suitable. Each job persists data in local disk, then again load to another job. It's costly operation and not recommended. Question 6. What is name node and its responsibilities? Answer. Name node is a logical daemon name for a particular node. It's heart of the entire Hadoop system, which store the metadata in FS image and get all block information in the form of heartbeat. Question 7. What is job tracker's responsibility? Answer. Scheduling the job's tasks on the slaves. Slaves execute the tasks as directed by the job tracker. Monitoring the tasks. If failed, execute the failed tasks. Question 8. What are the job tracker and task tracker in MapReduce? Answer. MapReduce framework consists of a single job tracker per cluster, one task tracker per node. Usually a cluster has multiple nodes, so each cluster has single job tracker and multiple task trackers. Job tracker can schedule the job and monitor the task trackers. If task tracker fail to execute tasks, try to re-execute the failed tasks. Task tracker follow the job tracker's instructions and execute the tasks. As a slave node it report the job status to master job tracker in the form of heartbeat question 9 what is job scheduling importance in hadoop map reduce answer scheduling is a systematic procedure of allocating resources in the best possible way among multiple tasks hadoop task tracker performing many procedures sometime a particular procedure should finish quickly and provide more priority to do it few job schedulers come into the picture default schedule is fifo fair scheduling fifo and capacity scheduler are most popular hadoop scheduling in hadoop Question 10. When used reducer. Answer. To combine multiple mappers is output used reducer. Reducer has three primary phases sort, shuffle and reduce. It's possible to process data without reducer but used when the shuffle and sort is required. Question 11. Explain job scheduling through job tracker. Answer. Job tracker communicates with name node to identify data location and submits the work to task tracker node. The task tracker plays a major role as it notifies the job tracker for any job failure. It actually is referred to the heartbeat reporter reassuring the job tracker that it is still alive. Later, the job tracker is responsible for the actions as in it may either resubmit the job or mark a specific record as unreliable or blacklisted. Question 12. Where the shuffle and sort process does. Answer. After mapper generate the output temporary store the intermediate data on the local file system. Usually this temporary file configured at core site. XML in the Hadoop file. Hadoop framework aggregate and sort this intermediate data. Then update into Hadoop to be processed by the reduce function. The framework deletes this temporary data in the local system after Hadoop completes the job. 
Question 13. Java is mandatory to write map reduce jobs? Answer. No. By default Hadoop implemented in Java TM but map reduce applications need not be written in Java. Hadoop support Python, Ruby, C++ and other programming languages. Hadoop streaming API allows creating and running map slash reduce jobs with any executable or script as the mapper and or the reducer. Hadoop pipes allows programmers to implement map reduce applications by using C++ programs. Question 14. What are the parameters of mapper and reducers? Answer. The four parameters for mappers are long writable input text input text intermediate output int writable intermediate output. The four parameters for reducers are text intermediate output int writable intermediate output text final output int writable final output. Question 15. What is the main difference between mapper and reducer? Answer. Map method is called separately for each key slash value have been processed. It process input key slash value pairs and emits intermediate key slash value pairs. Reduce method is called separately for each key slash values list pair. It process intermediate key slash value pairs and emits final key slash value pairs. Both are initializing and called before any other method is called. Both don't have any parameters and no output.